Hey guys, it's Writer's Block here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remake Magnolia by Playboy Carding. So, to begin with, let's increase the BPM to 160. Then, let's load Massive, and what we're looking for is more of a pad type sound, a synth pad. I already know which one it's, uh, already know which one, uh, I'm looking for, but the original sound is sort of a pluck sound. It sounds something like this. So to fix that, to make it more of a pad, we need to go to um, find the attack and increase that just a little bit. And what that does is kind of gets rid of that kind of thumpy sound in the beginning and it makes it more of an airy kind of sound. So this is the original. Here it has that kind of thump. And then if you increase attack, it has more of a kind of air sound. So the chord that plays throughout the entire song is uh, a B minor. So what that to B, then a D, and then an F sharp. So let's go in the piano roll and place that in there. So B, D, and then F sharp. And let's repeat that through the entire measure, or two measures. So that doesn't sound exactly like it. Um, so let's find another sound and layer it on top of that sound. Like I said, like before, I already know what sound to use. And it sounds something like. Once again, let's increase the attack level. And then copy and paste the chord down below. What I did was just select the chord, uh, this, um, this channel right here, and then copy, control C, and then control V over here. So that's how it will sound, but the original chord from the song doesn't have like any reverb on it, so I'm gonna completely turn it off. There we go. I'm gonna move that back once, and then this one as well. Okay. So next, um, let's add these to the mixer. And then for this one, so for the first synth, what I want to do is um, give it that kind of sound where it goes from both ears rather than that flat original sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this third-party plugin. You can also use um, Fruity Stereo Enhancer and then go to Subtle or for Strings, but for in this case I'm going to be using this since this is pretty much perfect. So you can really tell the difference. This is the original. And then this is the after I uh, put the plugin as you can hear it kind of gives that um, more rich sound where it plays from on both ears rather than just in the middle next I want to EQ it so it kind of sounds like there's a little drone in it so I want to reduce um, around 300 Hertz I think that's just about it. It really sounds fine like that. Also, we should move the reverb on that. Yeah. And so for this one, I want to do the same thing. Uh, give it that kind of more rich sound um, and stereo enhance it as well as EQ it. Reduce it around 300 Hertz to get rid of that um, drone sound 
And I think that's just about it. Reduce the volume of that. And then next, uh, there's a background melody in the beat. So I want to add that. So what you want to find is a sort of flute sound. So I'm going to load Massive again. I'm going to go to the search area and then find under the flute area right here. I want to find the right sound. Yeah, that sounds good. But we don't need that delay, so I'm just going to turn that off. There we go. Next, I'm going to add that to the mixer and EQ it since it has a drone to it. That kind of annoying sound. You don't want that to interfere with the bass as well with that, oh, as well with the rest of the synths and all the instruments that's going on because it's just gonna sound just like annoying and just poorly produced. So once again, reduce it right around 200, 300 hertz. Widen it a little bit. Now I wanna increase up here a little bit. Give it more synthy sound and reduce the high hertz so it doesn't sound it doesn't have that white noise to it okay and then reduce that because it's pretty quiet in the actual song so for the lead melody on top um what you want to do is you want to place an e and then just copy as i do paste that over one measure and then lower this last note B to to an A so next um, since we've got all the melody part done we need to find a bass so once more load massive or you can even do it with 3x oscillator or any other um, synth plugin that you have all we're looking for is a bass where we have a kind of a saw sound to it so this is the bass we're uh, messing with but it doesn't have that saw to it so I'm going to uh, increase the wavetable position over here So as you can hear, it has that saw sound. Sounds exactly like the song, that the bass. So um, the notes for the bass line is a B, a B. So next note is a G. And then F sharp and then E and then back to B I'm going to extend the G note as well as the E note Perfect. Um, this flute in the background is a bit loud, so I'm going to decrease the volume as that. And then I'm going to mute all the other sounds and then put the bass into the mix. And then um, I want to EQ it. I feel like it needs some more bass to it. So I'm gonna increase this last one. So increase the lower frequencies. And I wanna lower around 200, 300 uh, hertz to get rid of that drone sound. And then, I think that's right. That's good. Okay, so um, we have the melody part done. So next we need to add the drums. 
So what you want to find is just a, a kick, any sort of kick. It do, it's you shouldn't find a really hard kick, just a kind of a quick and simple kick. You know what I mean? Um, so let's add this one, and then you're kind of going to be placing it around the same notes as the bass line. So. difference is the only difference is the extra note right here right before this note hits this one I made a mistake on that one this one and then do the same exact kick rhythm over here. But turn down the volume of the kick a little bit because in the actual song it's not as loud. It's, it's pretty subtle actually. So next, um, it's just a simple hi-hat rhythm. Um, I'm just gonna do this. And then I wanna add that uh, hi-hat to the mixer and then EQ it because it's just too many high frequencies and it kinda interferes with everything else. So I'm gonna reduce this last one. Oh, and this EQ is exactly the same as um, Fruity Parametric EQ2. It's just, it has less of these little buttons here. So, um. That's good. So next, we want to find a clap. Um, no snares. A lot of trap beats have a, a snare, but in this case, it, all we need is a clap. We just need that kind of... simple quick clap this that is perfect so um that's really it um let me let me split my channel here and then go into the actual song itself. Place the patterns. That's it. That's all. Thanks for watching.